in triangle ABC angle B is equals to 2 times of angle C AD perpendicular to BC BDC are in a line E is midpoint of BC then prove that AB is equal to 2 times of DE Now the concept we will be using to solve this problem is one midpoint theorem. Second, that in right angle triangle, circumcenter is midpoint of the hypotenuse. So let F be the midpoint of the hypotenuse AC in right triangle ADC. So let's join E to F. and also D to F now since EF line segment is joining the midpoints of BC and AC according to midpoint theorem EF is parallel to AB and also EF equals to half of AB so let's go ahead and write down whatever we discussed till now. First we'll start with saying that let F be the midpoint of AC. E is midpoint of BC and F is midpoint of AC. Therefore, by midpoint theorem, EF is parallel to AB and also EF equals to half of AB. Now since we have been given that angle B is 2 times of angle C, let us say angle C equals to X. Then what will be angle B? Angle B will be 2 times of X. So let's write down that. Let angle C equals to X, then angle B equals to 2 times of X. Once we know that angle C is X and angle B is 2X, we can fill in the remaining angles of the triangles to write triangles there. Angle DAB will be 90 minus 2x and angle DAC will be 90 minus x. Now we know that F is circumcenter of triangle ADC, right triangle. Then we know ADF is an isosceles triangle in which base angle should be equal. Therefore, angle ADF is 90 minus X. Based on that, we can write down the angle EDF equals to X and we also know AB parallel to EF. So we know that exterior angle of DEF at E is 2X, which will give us angle DFE equals to X. So by that, we can see that DEF is also an isosceles triangle. And we know in isosceles triangle opposite sides which are having equal angles are equal. Therefore, DE equals to EF. Earlier we got AB equals to 2EF but EF equals to DE. Therefore, AB is equals to 2DE. So, let's write down steps for 
this discussion part of the discussion just we had so I'll write down therefore angle DAB is 90 minus 2x and DAC is 90 minus x that we know we can write down in triangle ADF F is circumcenter F is circumcenter circumcenter is equidistant from vertices so AF equals to CF equals to DF since two angles are equal it becomes an isosceles triangle so AF equals to DF so base angles are equal so angle ADF is 90 minus X that immediately gives us that the left out part of 90 degrees is X so we can write down angle EDF equals to x degrees angle CF is 2x because we know AB is parallel to EF two parallel lines corresponding angles are equal therefore angle CF is 2x as yes, AB parallel to EF. Now we can see that DEF is an isosceles triangle as yes, angle DFE is also equals to X. So in isosceles triangle we know opposite sides are equal other than the base therefore DE equals to EF so we can go back and write down AB equals to 2 EF but EF equals to DE therefore AB is equals to 2 times of DE so let's have a recap of this problem what we have done we have identified first midpoint of F that is AC then we joined E to F we know AB is parallel to EF that is one part of the problem then we joined D to F we have been given angle B is 2 times of angle C so we started with angle C equals to X therefore angle B is 2X now we filled in all the angles and we also know that AF equals to DF as in right angle triangle circumcenter is the midpoint of hypotenuse so by filling in all the angles we understood that the angle triangle DEF is an isosceles triangle so base angles are equal so DE equals to EF so whatever we got earlier AB equals to 2 EF can be substituted by AB equals to 2 times of DE